بكم the case of today for a girl 14 years old complaining of severe right lower abdominal pain her clinician raised the possibility of acute appendicitis and as I mentioned before in such cases we have to start with ultrasound examination in children and in female patients to avoid ionizing radiation so how can you diagnose acute appendicitis by ultrasound number one you have to use a high frequency linear probe transducer from 7 to 12 megahertz it has limited uh, penetration but has a very high image quality number two ask the patient to localize the maximum site of his pain usually in cases of acute appendicitis the pain is localized and the patient he can point the site of the pain by the tip of his finger after that put the probe at the site of his finger after that use graded compression technique or modified graded compression technique what is the graded compression technique this is a technique used to demonstrate the features of acute appendicitis and the appendix is usually covered by multiple gas containing bowel loops and you know that the gas is a big enemy uh, to the ultrasound as it is masking and concealing any structure behind to it so put your probe in the site of the pain and the right lower abdomen start to speak with uh, your patient friendly about anything away from his current condition like uh, uh, do you have any hobbies uh, what what is your favorite food mm, do you play any kind of sport uh, how is your favorite uh, football player uh, something like that and during that apply some pressure by the probe step by step because if you apply sudden pressure by the probe the patient will express severe abdominal pain and they do gardening of his abdominal muscles making the examination very difficult by this way due to the pressure the gradual pressure by the probe the underlying gas containing bowel loops which covers the inflamed appendix start to move away leaving the inflamed appendix which is usually fixed because of uh, the surrounding inflammatory changes so the inflamed appendix will be exposed direct to the probe separated from the probe by only the anterior abdominal wall muscles this is the graded compression technique what is the modified graded compression technique it's composed of forced extrinsic compression of the opposite side of the right lower quadrant using the palm or the four fingers of the left hand thereby allowing more reduction of the abdominal cavity between the inflamed appendix and the transducer. put on your mind that not all the signs of acute appendicitis you can appreciate in the same patient but there is fixed sign which is dilatation of the appendix more than eight millimeter so i will show you not only the case of today but i will show you Another two cases in addition to our case of the day to show you all the features of acute appendicitis. This is the ultrasound examination of uh, our patient of today using the graded compression technique. As you see here, this is cross section image for the appendix which is inflamed, as you see here, and this is the anterior abdominal muscle. And as you notice, due to the graded compression technique, the appendix is located direct under the anterior abdominal wall muscle without intervening gas containing bowel loops so this is the appendix here which is marked dilated if we measure its anterior posterior diameter we will find it measures 0.9 uh, centimeter so significant appendicitis the diameter of the appendix is more than 8 millimeter here by using color doppler study we can appreciate we have marked hypervascularity of the wall of the appendix as you see here at the same time you notice that the appendix which is hypoechoic surrounded by hyperechoic fat this is the periappendicial and periseccal fat this is longitudinal scan for the appendix showing the appendix is marked dilated seen in the form of blind and tubular structure as you see here it's diameter as we mentioned before more than eight millimeter here again demonstration of hypremia of the wall of the appendix and here very nice 
demonstration of the appendix is surrounded by hyperechoic fat as you see here there is no evidence of intraluminal appendicles in this case and also there is no evidence of significant periappendicial uh, fluid collection uh, could be seen uh, uh, this is another patient just I uh, want to show you the other features of acute appendicitis by ultrasound uh, this is again longitudinal scan for the appendix which is a uh, tubular blind in the structure this is the anterior abdominal wall and as I mentioned uh, using here the graded compression technique technique because the appendix is uh, direct under the anterior abdominal wall no intervening uh, bowel containing gas the appendix here uh, is dilated it's a caliber more than eight millimeter and in this image we have intraluminal appendicular calcific structure inside the lumen of the appendix causing marked posterior acoustic shadowing so this is example for intra appendicular appendicular in cases of acute appendicitis also here you can appreciate that we have hyperemia also of the wall and also here we can appreciate that we have periappendicial fat giving very good contrast between the hyperechoic appearance of the fat and the hypoechoic appearance of the inflamed appendix uh, this is the third case here this is again a demonstration of the appendix tubular blind in the structure under the anterior abdominal wall some hyperemia in the wall of the inflamed appendix here we have multiple regional lymph nodes as you see here oval shape pseudo kidney appearance of multiple regional mesenteric lymph nodes so these are the features of acute appendicitis by ultrasound if you didn't find the any sign of acute appendicitis don't forget to examine the rest of the abdomen to exclude other diseases uh, which can mimic acute appendicitis like uh, the most common is uh, mesenteric lymphadenopathy you will find multiple mesenteric lymph nodes uh, and the appendix is not inflamed also check the right kidney you may find the hydronephrosis due to back pressure from right ureteric stone also check the right ovary for any possibility of torsion which uh, in which you will find the ovary is enlarged swollen avascular and surrounded by marked increased vascularity by using the color doppler study don't forget also to look for pleural effusion or uh, pulmonary consolidation as children with pneumonia can present with uh, symptoms mimicking acute appendicitis. Now, let us summarize together the ultrasound features of acute appendicitis. Number one, non-compressible blind end tubular structure. Number two, dilatation of the appendix, its diameter more than eight millimeter. Number three, thickening and the hypervascular wall. Number four, intraluminal appendicular. Number five, periappendicial thin rim of fluid. Number six, surrounded by hyperechoic bericycle fat. Number seven, regional mesenteric lymph nodes enlargement. So this is everything regarding the rule of ultrasound in diagnosis of acute appendicitis. Thank you very much.